How to teach sight words. Sight words are words that children are taught to recognize on sight. There are two main types of sight words. High frequency words and he, go, and words that can't be sounded out phonetically like the, once, talk. Being able to identify sight words at a glance enables kids to read them with greater speed, fluency and confidence. The most widely used collection of sight words is called the Dolch Word List, published in 1948 by Edward William Dolch, PhD. It is a list of 220 words most often found in text passages. Did you know Dr. Seuss used the Dolch List to write the cat in the hat? The Fry Sight Word List is a more modern list of words than the Dolch List and was extended to capture the most common 1,000 words. Dr. Edward Fry developed this expanded list in the 1950s and updated it in 1980, based on the most common words to appear in reading materials used in grades 3 to 9. Learning all 1,000 words in the Fry list would equip a child to read about 90% of the words in a typical book newspaper or website. I put the fry list in the description. This shirt I'm wearing is the 100 most used words. You can check it out underneath this video. When it comes to teaching sight words, repetition is king. Flashcards are useful, but it is also important to use fun activities that encourage young students to learn. So here are 10 sight words activities. 1. Bean bag toss. Place sight words on the floor. Say a word and two computing students should try and get the bag as close as possible to it. The one that gets nearest wins a point. A variation is where words have different points attributed to them. For example, the ones furthest away get more points. Students say a word and if they land on it, they get those points. The team with the most points wins. Two, feed the monster. Build a cute box and write down sight words on strips of paper. If the students are able, you could ask them to copy the words themselves, saving you the hassle. One by one, say the words out loud. Students then feed the sight words to the monster and try to repeat it as they do. Three, reading race. Use a timer or minute glass. Students try to read as many words as possible before time runs out. They can get competitive, but remember to encourage students who struggle. They may feel disappointed if they don't do as well as their friends. Now, put them in pairs. Their friend counts how many sight words they can read. Go through it again. Then ask them to try again and see if they improve their score. That way you motivate them to enjoy the activity and learn at the same time. 4. Swat the word. You can lay down cards or post-it notes with sight words on them. Call out the sight word and the student has to swat it. What? And they like and subscribe it can also be played in groups where you call out the words on the board with competing teams line the two teams up and a member of each team has to slap the correct word five sight word music a great YouTube channel for sight word music is Jack Hartman I put it in the description below look listen and say the sight words a N -N. A -N -N. Many people don't understand that learning a language starts with passive skills. Kids listen, then read, then say the words. Later, you can get them to write it down. For young learners, listening to sight word songs is a fun way to learn and memorize new words. 6. Scavenger Hunt Place words all around the classroom. Ask students to walk around and find all the words. See who finishes first. This activity can be expanded on by asking students to copy the words on their own sheet of paper 
or give them a specific checklist of words to find. When it comes to learning, remember to focus on the journey and not the destination. 7. Cite World Map Write down words on paper plates or cards. First, line the students up. Say a word out loud and a student should step on it. To make it even more complicated, place a beginning and an end. Students have to go from one side to the other by saying the word before stepping on the plate. And then you have to go to the start and make it through to the end. Start what? She of and end. Eight. Find words in the morning message. At the start of class, hand students text with a message. Then show them a list of words they have to find inside the message and circle them. This exploration is a fun way to challenge learners and make learning sight words into a game. When learning is practical, students are more likely to see the value and internalize the lessons. Students don't need to be able to read the whole passage, but they should be able to find the sight words within. 9. Scrabble Spell words with individual letters. Give students letters to use, then show them a list of words. After students construct a word out of the individual letters, they get to check it off. Students have control over their own learning. Giving them a list helps them set a target of words to learn autonomously. Another option is to have students type the words into a keyboard and then check off all the words they typed out. 10. Exit tickets. Write a couple of words on the board. To leave class after the lesson, students have to write the words down. It could be on the board with markers or in their own books. Write two words, then three words if the students find it too easy. When they can do that, put the words on the door or on a shirt and the students have to repeat them before exiting. Watch out for students that just try to memorize the words. You can do this by randomly pointing at words to be read. After a student read two or three words, they may leave the class. Identifying sight words is a vital component when learning to read. By using fun, creative exercises, students are encouraged to learn quicker and enjoy it at the same time. If you would like some more classroom games, check out this next video.